of the fundamental questions in biology has to do with individual differences. Are individuals at birth different from one another in their qualities? Individual differences among animals can come from several sources. We have the genetics that they get from their parents, also nutritional features from the mother that may be passed on. Some mothers may be better at uh, feeding their young and giving them more nutrition. They may teach them more things, so some mothers may swim with their babies more, and so perhaps pass on skills, and so we can have uh, differences in individuals that occur after birth, after the genetics are in place, and so we end up with what we call phenotypic differences, so appearance differences, where even given two animals with the same genetics, we might end up with animals with different performance characteristics because of things that happen after. The moment they're born, we get to look at some individual differences because we can weigh these babies, just quickly uh, weigh them, and right within a day or so of birth, and one of the things we see already is that they, they weigh different amounts. One of the things we're starting to get glimpses of from some of the work that Jesse DeVoe and Bob Garrett have led and that we're all involved with is that some pups swim more than others. When they're first born, they don't swim. They don't know how to swim. And it takes them a couple days before the mom encourages them to get in the water and start swimming. So to get an idea of when they get in the water and how often they're swimming, we've attached temperature sensor tags to their rear flippers. So the temperature tag is right here on this, this pup on his uh, rear flipper. So that's what we use to measure the ambient temperature. To be able to look at the survival and reproduction of these pups in the future, since they're such a long-lived animal and they're uh, slow to mature, it's going to be a few years. It'll be a while before we can tell if the swimming behavior does impact their survival. So it might be 10 years before we get any signal about this. Part of studying population dynamics is understanding these sorts of processes. And um, this is just another really cool way of understanding how Weddell seal population dynamics work. Happy! Happy! <laughs> <laughs>